welcome to another episode of Sheena's Perfect Bite. I show people how to make low glycemic meals and today I'm going to show you how to make a really healthy chocolate shake. It's vegan, all raw, low glycemic, gluten free, all that good stuff. Um, it tastes really good and it will satisfy that chocolate shake craving that we all get. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first ingredient for the chocolate shake is a young coconut. This is what it looks like. It has a white um, outside and it's kind of soft as well. You can find these in pretty much any grocery store now, uh, for sure health food stores, but you're gonna find your best price at Asian markets. Most of them come from Thailand. The ones from Mexico are really good as well. Now, young coconuts are a little bit different than older coconuts. Older coconuts have the brown, uh, outsides they're really really hard the meat inside of uh, older coconuts is really hard and the liquid is kind of creamy color these uh, the inside the meat part is really soft and delicate and then the water inside the coconut is totally clear and has a really good sweet flavor so to use this type of stuff in your any sort of smoothie or your chocolate shakes or anything that you want to make is really really good now the water actually matches pretty close to our blood plasma. They used to use young coconuts back in some of the war times for blood transfusions for the soldiers. So it has a ton of electrolytes. Instead of drinking Gatorade, drink this stuff and it tastes much better and it's much better for you. So I'm going to show you how to open it right now. Okay, the first thing that you want to do with your young coconut, this is the top part, the point. You're going to kind of lean it on its side and make sure that it's sturdy and get a really sharp knife. It's really important that you have a really strong, uh, heavy duty, sharp knife. And we're just gonna kinda shave some of the skin off so that it's easier when we um, start hacking into it to get it open. And you can see kinda we're getting to the brown part. So this is where you pull out your hatchet. Now you really, really need to be careful with this. Um, you're gonna wanna hold the coconut really tightly and we're gonna go in fours. We're gonna hit each side and then we're gonna lift it up kind of like a top um, or a lid, I guess. So normally I have my husband do this, so I'm gonna take my time doing this, so just watch. Okay, so I prefer a little bit bigger of a hole. If you kind of get hit lower on the coconut, you'll get that. Um, but I don't know if you can totally see, I'm not gonna totally tip it over, but the liquid is clear. Now I'm gonna get a little measuring cup or glass and I'm gonna dump out the liquid into the cup. Okay, so you can see it's pretty clear and it's really, really tasty. Now this is kind of the color, this is the color of the inside. And you can see it's really soft and kind of squishy, but it has a really cool texture. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a spoon and you're just gonna start scooping the inside of the coconut out and just spoon it out. And then you're gonna put this into your blender. So I'm gonna do this right now. Okay, we have all of the young coconut meat inside of our blender. Uh, this is a Blendtec. A Blendtec and a Vitamix will give you the best texture. Uh, Blendtecs are amazing. I recommend it. They're kind of expensive, but they're totally worth buying for sure. But any blender will give you a good chocolate shake. So let's go ahead and get started with the ingredients. Uh, we're going to start with four tablespoons of unsweetened organic uh, cacao powder or cocoa powder. Okay, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Let's go ahead and put our cashews in. 
These are raw cashews, one and a half cups. Okay. And then we're going to start with five cups of, or five tablespoons of agave. If it needs to be a little sweeter at the end, we'll add a little more at the end. We'll start with five tablespoons now. And then we're going to do a little tiny pinch of salt. The salt brings out the sweetness and the flavors of every other ingredient. So salt and dessert is really good. You can also add a little bit of cinnamon if you like cinnamon. So I'll do just a couple little shakes. This is totally to taste and really whatever you feel like. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of the coconut water just to kind of get it started. Okay, let's pulse that up. All right, now that it's pretty much, you know, pulsed up and start chopped up, we can pour the rest of the coconut water in. Now I'm going to put this on a smoothie mode and then we'll add the ice after. it up. We're going to take one full glass of crushed, already crushed ice. Okay. Let's do one more smoothie mode. I think that's sweet enough. Now, if you want more ice, if you want it, you know, really, really icy and like more like a chocolate shake, add more crushed ice. Um, but I think this is really good. So I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like coming out of the cup or coming out of the blender. You kind of see it has the nice, thick chocolate shake texture. Yummy, yummy. And this will make a good two, definitely, you know, two to three full glasses, 16 ounce glasses. Now I like to eat mine with a spoon, but you can eat it with a straw or just drink it however you'd like. Mm. You can taste the cinnamon in it for sure. The agave gives it a really nice sweetness and it's lower on the glycemic index, so that's good. And the Cashews really is what makes it nice and creamy. And then the coconut gives it just that really good sweet flavor, but it doesn't really taste coconutty. So if you don't like coconut, you'll definitely still like this. So please try this out and enjoy. <laughs>